AITA for accepting my family's Christmas invitation despite my husband being upset? I. F32. I met this wonderful man, Philip. M36. Two years ago. We got married four months ago. For context. I have a 10 year son, Billy, from my previous relationship and my ex isn't in the picture. I have to admit that Philip's relationship with my family isn't so great. They would disagree on a lot of things. For example, he had an argument with my dad when he said that he was keeping their grandson away from them but Philip stated he wasn't and that he couldn't visit with Billy because he had work. I was sick at the time. The latest argument was what made things worse. My mom and sister were discussing natural remedies. They're into this stuff. For my niece and Philip. He's a pediatrician. Called both of them, ignorant, for not using meds instead which caused a huge argument and Philip. Being no longer welcome at my parents' house. Now they'd sent me and Billy an invitation for Christmas but did not include Philip which. I expected given how strained their relationship has become. I called my mom to confirm that I'll attend but the minute Philip found out. He went off saying he could not believe I was fine with my family excluding him and then agree to go and leave him behind. I told him it's their celebration and I don't get to decide their guest list for them. And also, I'm not leaving him behind because we did not have any plans for Christmas. He said he thought that we'd automatically celebrate together the three of us but now I'm taking Billy away from him as well. I thought that was a bit melodramatic because it's literally just few hours at my parents' home but he insisted it was about principle and respect. We had a big argument and I said that he basically alienated himself by continually picking arguments with my family. But he started ranting saying it wasn't about the fact that they didn't invite him. But the fact that I was willing to let him spend Christmas alone without me and Billy. We went back and forth on the issue but do not seem to reach a solution. My parents are used to spending every major holiday with Billy. So you can see how much pressure I'm getting from both sides here. YTA. You're right you don't get to decide their guest list for them. However, you do get to decide whether or not to spend Christmas with your husband. Every married couple I know would automatically expect to spend Christmas together. How are you not outraged that your parents left your husband out of the invitation to spend Christmas with them? And how could you possibly contemplate leaving your husband alone at Christmas? Do you actually want to be married to him? You accepted an invitation which excludes him and you think this is reasonable? YTA. You are so the awe. Flip it around and have his family accuse you off not bringing their grandson around when you are working. Then try to lecture him on how to treat a kid when he's a freaking pediatrician. If Billy gets sick, don't bother your husband with it. Have your sister and mom treat him with KFC's 11 herbs and spices cause you know. They know better person face palming light skin tone. YTA 100%. You have no ground to stand on. You are supposed to stand up for your husband. He has been poorly treated by your parents. And shame on you for not standing by his side. Your parents' exclusion of him at Christmas is an opportunity to spend a holiday as a new family. Not leave your husband all alone. YTA. The first infraction has set the tone for the rest of their relationship. You were sick. Your husband had to work and your parents said this meant he was keeping their grandson away? You should have nipped this in the bud right there and then. Then for your hippy dippy sister and mother to talk about natural remedies in front of a pediatrician who, I guarantee, has seen kids die because of natural remedy, parents. I'm surprised he didn't say more than that they were ignorant. When you marry, you become a team. Your husband has been banned. Therefore you don't go either. It's that simple. You have shown your, in your own words, 
Wonderful man, where he lies on your list of priorities. Get your head out of your ass. Or you'll be needing to find a divorce lawyer. I sure as hell wouldn't put up with a spouse like you. YTA to me. This will be your first Xmas as a married couple and officially Philip's first with the family. That is to say you and Billy. How is it okay to ignore that? That Philip's first Xmas as a true bona fide stepdad gets wrecked BC his stepson won't be there. Because according to you and your parents, Billy's grandparents are more important than your husband and co-parent. Your parents can choose to include Philip or not. But your compliance also shows Philip that you choose them over him. They aren't your only family now. It is not fair to your husband to leave him for any amount of time. Much less a few hours. To give in to your parents' pressure and demands. Let me ask you this roles reversed and your mill demanded Philip and Billy be at her house. But not you how the hell would you feel not only for the exclusion by in-laws but your spouse leaving you alone? Truly think about that and tell me that anyone who would do this, or even ask their spouse to be okay with it, isn't being a jerk. Info. Did your parents alienate you from your ex-husband as well? YTA. Your family sound like they have a grudge against your husband. As he is a pediatrician I can understand why he would defend his discipline and him not taking your child to see them because he has work is a valid reason. What exactly is their problem with him? And you're not standing by him while he's being shunned and bullied by your family. Shame. YTA. You said yes without discussing it and are leaving him all by himself on Christmas Day. Either you get invited as a family or not at all. Your parents are also Oz. I did a study on evidence-based practice using pediatricians and naturopaths for my masters. Much data. But in short, naturopaths do not follow evidence-based practice. While I think your husband could have been more tactful, although if they were discussing something harmful, then good for him. Natural remedies are usually garbage. Naturopaths are quacks. And your husband is a damn pediatrician. I have a feeling your family disliked him for that reason alone. As for the Christmas thing. YTA. As are your family. YTA. He's your husband and he has done nothing wrong. One your dad picked a fight because he had to work and you didn't defend him. Two you are encouraging your mom to be an idiot and not be knowledgeable on medications and wanting to do natural healing and when your husband as a medical professional stated the facts you let them be terrible to him. You think it's okay to leave your husband alone on Christmas because they are being horrible to him. And it'd be upset to you or not doing anything to defend him when he has done nothing wrong. You taking their side and in doing so shows you don't care for your husband. Keep this up and he will leave. YTA. Why did you get married if you weren't ready to treat you and hubby like a team? Look. You need a reality check. Your parents are wrong in excluding him. You choosing them over hubby equals no hubby. He will leave if he has any sense. Is this what you want? YTA. Listen to yourself. I'm not leaving him behind because we did not have any plans for Christmas. How is going to your parents' house without him not leaving him behind? He shouldn't care about being alone for Christmas because you hadn't made special plans? Plenty of families spend Christmas as a nuclear family unit, opening gifts and spending the day together. YTA. Unless there's a better reason than, Philip didn't bring Billy to us because he has to work, and... Philip the pediatrician harshly denounced some natural remedies for niece's ailment. And I want you to really think about if what they were doing was putting your niece in danger. Then I'm inclined to believe your family sucks and you do too. Who spends their first Christmas after marriage away from their new spouse? Did Philip the pediatrician get off for Christmas? 
something that may have been hard to come by given healthcare worker and increasing RSV, just so that his new wife and stepson could leave him by himself to go to people who dislike him? If you have kids together, do your parents get dibs on all of their Christmases too? Where are you drawing the line? Your family dynamic has changed. It's not just you and Billy. Get the adults together and talk this out. Unless Philip goes out of his way to be an asshole, which these tidbits don't tell me he is. I think you should reevaluate the situation. Because this a fast way to add another ex who isn't involved. YTA 100% you just prove to him that he matters less to you. This will snowball because now your parents know that it's okay to exclude him and you won't do nothing. This won't end well. YTA. Your nuclear family should come first. Which means your husband and son should come first how could you even consider going to your parents when they didn't invite your husband? You should be mad at them and made plans for you, your husband, and son. YTA your husband is family now. I can't believe you are so shocked that he has presumed you would spend Christmas together. ETA that a pediatrician knows what he is talking about when it comes to treating a child's illness. Huge YTA. You and Philip are married. This is no longer a boyfriend scenario. You choose to start a family together. Leaving your husband alone for Christmas is an asshole move. Wow. You expect to make plans in order to spend Christmas with your husband and son? Really? You need plans for that? It's normal and expected for a family to spend holidays together. You don't need plans. As soon as you got an invitation from your parents with only you and Billy, you should have called to reject it. You either go as a family, or you don't go at all. There is also the other option you don't really want a family with Philip. He has his flaws. He disrespects your parents. In which case divorce the guy. Stop wasting his time. And yours. YTA. How can you even consider leaving your husband alone at Christmas? He was in the right in both instances that you mentioned. He's a doctor. He can't just take off work to take your son to your parents. Also on the second instance. He's a doctor. I get natural remedies when it's an option. But sometimes they don't work. You are a team now and you should definitely have his back here. Do you plan to leave him on every major holiday? YTA you don't allow your husband to be excluded or you don't go. Your marriage is now your first family. And your parents are second. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.